Well, welcome back to Studio 3, everyone. A gorgeous day to be outside visiting with Suntan Swine Barbecue, making a trip to be with us in Huntington, going to be at the West Virginia Barbecue Throwdown this weekend in Ripley, right outside of Ripley. Yeah, yep. so he's traveling, Scott Barnett, traveling from Wyoming County, wow. stopping here in Huntington, Thank heading you. to Jackson You're County. <laughs> Talk a little bit about your business. How did this get started? I just got started like a lot of other people, just backyard stuff. I worked in the coal mines for almost 19 years and just started playing around with it as a habit, really, and then started selling a little bit of stuff. And then next thing you know, we're doing it for a living. So it's really enjoyable getting out and meeting people and then traveling throughout the pretty state. Well, it's beautiful. Scott, we were eyeing everything that's on the menu. What are some of your uh, What are some of your top sellers? Because I, I would I would order one of everything and if it I could. Is a little bit of everything. It is. Too. Top sellers are uh, loaded tater tots, the loaded ribbon fries, uh, the barbecue salads, the loaded baked potatoes. We do loaded French fries, pulled pork sandwich, brisket sandwiches. I mean, we ribs. You know, uh, we got a rack of baby backs here. It's seasoned up. So we sell a variety of everything, even down to hot dogs for somebody with a kid that yeah. wants yeah. a rack of ribs. So we sell hot dogs as well. And tell us how you prep this this morning, because this is gearing up for the weekend. Yes, this is a rack of baby racks, baby back ribs, and uh, you actually pull the membrane off the back to make them a little more tender. And this is my rub that I came up with. So I seasoned it with my rub, and we'll let it set a little while, and then they'll, they'll go in the smoker for four and a half, five hours or so. Mm. And I'm imagining just the smell that would be radiating yeah. out of your truck. So it, you do you have um you have your smoker inside? Where do you keep your smoker? It's on the, they're on the back. Oh yeah. wow! Yeah, I, I love the setup that you got here too, Scott. So uh, now the contest this weekend. You said you did this last year, right? This is going to be your in New Welch last okay. Year. Be my okay. Time. So. And Scott isn't giving away his secrets. I mean, he's 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 bringing the competition this week, and he's not sharing anything. So, and we understand. I mean, this brings in people from all over, right? I mean, oh, we does. hear from as far as New York, Alabama. Yeah. yeah, a lot of other states, Virginia, just all over, all over the area. This guy's traveled to do this for a living. You know what I mean? So you are from Wyoming County. Where else do you travel down in that region when you're not going to the contest? Uh, we go to Beckley. We set up road stops, you know, in the county at the house. We do Trail Fest in Gilbert. We, you know, Mingo County, Raleigh County, just wherever it leads next on the men, uh, next on their stops. You know, we do a lot of catering for weddings, uh, coal mine events, stuff like that. We do a lot of catering. Mm -hmm. And you were saying a little bit about your wife didn't make it today because she is preparing the sides. She's busy. For the <laughs> but talk busy a little bit about some of those. It's not just about the oh, ribs no. and pork and everything. No, we do the smoked mac and cheese, it's regular mac and cheese, baked beans. We do chili. You know, the chili's a topping on a lot of nachos and uh, or anything else. It's an option all the time. What about no. her baked goods? Her baked goods. <laughs> She does the French macaroons, she makes oatmeal cream pies, she makes ginger molasses cookies, she does, uh, she owns Barnett's Baked Goods. So we started incorporating them and we just sell them now out of the food truck as well. Now how did you come up with some of these recipes, Scott? Because a lot of people, I mean, when they barbecue, it's a, it's a serious thing. And you try to come up with the spices, how long you're cooking these things. Uh, are some of these family recipes, where do you where do you come no, up with some of them? a lot of, of these, like this rub I created on my own. That, really? Those are three sauces that I make on my own. What are you these just, sauces, Scott? The um, That's a Carolina vinegar. I'll be doing a Carolina vinegar segment at the Throwdown this weekend. Okay. This is one I call Sweet Heat. It's spicy. Then the other one is a, I call it Mountaineer Gold. This, Ooh, uh, what's in that? It's a tangy, tangy mustard kind of base. It's mustard based where the rest of them are ketchup based. Oh, yum. I that's bet that's my chili seasoning. I mean, well, I make, I try to do everything and be completely different. Now, the yeah. one on the end, does it have a little heat to it? Uh, just a touch. Just, just a touch. A, yeah, this one is a little <laughs> more um, spicier than the other. Okay. I love that though, making your own sauces and. And so when you're out at these um, like contests when you're traveling, you're doing it all in here. Pretty much. Pretty yep. much all yep. one in stop the morning, shop. In the morning, I'll start prepping everything. I'll make the chili in the truck. Like I said, she's preparing to make mac and cheese, and I'll bake it in here. She's just assembling it basically today. And then um, I'll bake it in the oven tomorrow or split it on the smoker if we got room for the weekend. And it's, but, it's the two of you, right? I mean, this is a husband-wife duo, yeah? Yeah, but we've got some uh, friends throughout the family, you know, that help and stuff yeah. like that, too, because you can't, you can't do it, two of you. It takes four people, really. Right, right. So we've got some people coming in to help us out with Saturday, which will be a, a bigger day of the event. And uh, we have other people that help us throughout, the, throughout our local area. Well, Scott, 
Again, thank you so much. I mean, I know that was a trip and a half for you to make it down here, but we certainly appreciate you stopping by. And I think what, right after this, you're heading up, get, ready for, the, get ready for the competition. Yep. Yeah, good well, luck. Right well, thank you. We do all right, this weekend. so let's remind everyone because all of this starts tomorrow. It'll be at the Jackson County Fairgrounds is where it's happening this year. Everything kicking off tomorrow, though, but the big competition and uh, the regional barbecue tasting is going to be on Saturday. And hopefully the weather holds out because I know that these people put so much work into it. They do, yes. And it sounds like that maybe the afternoon is going to be uh, best for us. And then, of course, tomorrow I think um, we're supposed to be pretty good to go. We'll have but to see what, you know, Brandon yeah. and Drew and Tony and Andy have to say about that. Right. <laughs> we really appreciate you coming you. all this way. We do, way. Scott. Thank you. We love but, to hear from places, you know, not best, just around home. And then when they see the symbol. And you guys have a Facebook page. Oh, yeah. Page because we checked that out this morning. Morning. We recently got a uh, website too, dot com. So it's up and running now. SuntanSwineBarbecue.com. So I just haven't put the stickers on the trailer yet. Awesome. <laughs> and I'm sure that's where we can see where you're going to be at too. Do you yeah. post your locations of where you'll be yeah. stopping? Yeah, yep. a lot of times. Great. Scott, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Appreciate Best of luck to you too. Let us know how you do. Oh, right, thank you. <laughs> thank you.